Oh my God. Oh Lord, please forgive me. Mary, for God's sakes, please tell us what happened. <laughs> oh, Pastor, I don't even know where to start from. <laughs> Mary, look, calm down and recall what happened and tell us, please. <laughs> it all happened. When my mom suffered a serious heart attack a couple of months ago. You're my anchor. What an amazing grace. Jesus, you're all I need. Light in the darkness. Your grace gave an answer me free. And that your Doctor, please tell me what's wrong with my mother. Well, your mom suffered a serious heart attack and must be operated on as soon as possible. Oh, really? So, Doctor, how much will that cost? Well, it would cost 5000 for the operation. And the medications she would have to undergo after the operation cost 2000 Ghana cities, which all sums up to about 7000 cities. What? Doctor, 7000 Ghana cities? That's a lot of money. Oh God, how and where am I going to get this money from? Hmm. Well, I don't know how, but all I know is that your mother must be operated on as soon as possible before her condition gets worse. I hope you know that payments must be made before we proceed with the operation, right? Hey. to get this money from oh jesus please help me ah, i need you now more than ever this is a lot hmm. hey who do i call now oh god i have called everyone i know but none of them is willing to help me i have no one to turn to Oh Lord, please help me. Oh, Heavenly Father, your word says in Philippians 4.19 that my God shall supply all your needs according to his glorious riches in heaven. So therefore, Lord, supply this need for my mother in Jesus' name. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello, my dear Mary. Um, please, who am I speaking to? What, Mary? I can't believe you don't have my number anymore. Hmm. Anyway, it's me, Prince Buedu. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mr. Prince, it's been a long time. Yeah, it is. After you were done with your service at our company, you just disappeared. <laughs> I really miss you. And you know you never really gave me a response to my proposal. Oh, not again. <clears throat> Mr. Prince, <clears throat> I'm not in the mood for that right now. I'm in a tight situation. Like, I'm not just ready for this. Why? What's wrong? You know you can tell me anything. Hmm, anyway, my mom is seriously sick and must be operated on as soon as possible. But I don't have the money to pay for the operations and medications. I called a number of people who I thought could help me, but none was willing. I'm stuck right now, and I don't know who to call again or what to do. I also don't want to lose my mother, because she's all I have. Oh my dear, I'm so sorry about your mom's condition, you know. And stop crying, okay? Look, I, I would pay for the hospital bills, okay? Trust me. Huh? What? Really? Mr. Prince? Yes, Mary, you know I would do anything for you. 
Oh God, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Mr. Prince. God bless you. I'm so happy right now. I'm really happy. I'm glad you're happy. Okay, so can you meet me this evening at Rose's Hotel at about 7 p.m. for the money? Ah, uh, oh, oh, uh, my Mr. Prince, I'm not comfortable coming to a hotel at that time. I'm not really comfortable with it. Can we meet elsewhere? Oh, Mary, don't worry. I won't do anything you won't like. Plus, I want to also catch up with you, you know? It's been a while. You know I'm the perfect gentleman. Please trust me. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Prince, I trust you. Okay, then. Since I away, patiently I'll trust in you through this. You're fighting my battles. Your plans are, your plans for me are good. So good. Good evening, Mr. Prince. <laughs> it's been a long time, and before we even proceed, I just want to thank you once again for deciding to help me. God richly bless you. Oh, don't worry, Mary. Um, Mary, I have a request for you. I want you to spend the night with me. You know I really love you. Ah. Ah. What? Mr. Prince, just like that. Do I look that cheap to you? Ah, I'm so confused right now. Where is this coming from? I thought you genuinely wanted to help me. I never saw this coming. But what's wrong with my request? Stop acting like a child. Just, just for one night. Ah, one night, Mr. Prince. That's not possible. That is not possible. I'm a Christian. And the Bible speaks strongly against sexual immorality. Wow. Well, we are not here to talk about the Bible, but about your mom who would die any moment from now if we don't pay the necessary bills, which I'm here to help you with, but only if you sleep with me first. Hey. Oh. Oh, not again. <laughs> Please, Mr. Prince. Please help me. I don't want to lose my mom. She's all I have. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My request still stands. Look, Mary, it's, it's just for one night, okay? Guess I'm Mary. What? Aren't you going to greet your cousin first? Cousin? How come I haven't met him before? Well, this is your cousin Kwame, your Auntie Agnes's eldest son who was in the who was in New York. You remember? Oh yes! Yes! Yes, yeah, so he got back to Ghana three days ago. He asked of me and he was told about my condition. And guess, guess what, my dear? What, mom? He paid for my hospital bill, so... For both the operation and the medication. Ah, Mary. See how faithful our God is. Oh, those that truly really wait on the Lord shall renew their strength oh jesus thank you so much kwame <laughs> mom you've already thanked me enough you're very much welcome you know i have been blessed to be a blessing so it's truly an honor being of help to you we give god all the glory <laughs> it's okay my daughter god came through for us so when all hope was lost <laughs> it's okay cousin mom would be fine okay wipe your tears and give praises to god instead <laughs> so 
what after all this happened? I started falling sick constantly. And my mom brought me to the hospital for a test to know what was wrong with me. Only to discover that I'm pregnant. Oh, and... <laughs> And also HIV positive. <laughs> Mary, why? Why did you fail the tests? Why? You should have allowed me to die instead of compromising the Christian values I told you. Oh God, look where just one night has landed you. Oh God. <laughs> hmm, Mary, I want you to know that God is still faithful and his mercies endures forever. I believe that the Lord has forgiven you and I equally believe that he can heal you because, you know, I've seen the Lord heal people with worse cases. So, Mary, calm down, okay? For the sake of the baby in your womb, just calm down. We'll be fine. Hmm. Yes, so my daughter, calm down. You know you're all I have left. After your dad passed away. Huh? I'm with you through all this. Don't worry, it will be well. Yeah, your mom is right. I want you to be strong. We all want you to be strong. So let's pray. To bring me joy, to bring me joy, unending peace, to bring me love, to bring me love, it's meant for me, it's meant for me. You give me hope, you give me hope, so I can live. Your plans for me are good, good, good. He says I belong to you, so you take care. Jesus, I belong to you, so you'll take care of me. You're fighting my battles, your plans are, your plans for me are good, good, good. This is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Who would have thought I would get married after being diagnosed with HIV and also a single mother to a beautiful baby girl? Who? I thought it was the end of my life. I suffered a severe depression and became suicidal. I tried taking my life four good times, but all attempts failed. Hmm. Little did I know that God wasn't done with me yet. The God of second chances who turned my mess into a message. He had mercy upon me and look at me today, the evidence of God's faithfulness. With God, all things are possible. With Him, everything is possible.